Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 of our CentOS firewall. And this is part of 23rd video of our LZH project and my name is Salman Francis. So let our uh, let's uh, continue our discussion and we left where we added a uh, few ports to our firewall, uh, firewall's public uh, zone. And let's see how we can add a service to our public zone. So to demonstrate this, uh, let me first go to our server 3, control B, and let's SSH into our server 2. And we can see that we are in server 2. So this means that the service SSH, which is port 22, is added to our public zone of our server 2. So in case we need to stop this or remove this service, uh, what we can do is we can go to firewall-cmd and specify the zone which is public and remove this service which is SSH. Press enter. Okay, now let's go to our server 3 and try to SSH this time. And we can see it says that no route to host. Try again. Same. Okay, what will happen if we just add the service instead of removing? Let's press add, press enter. Okay. Let's go back to our server 3 and try it this time. And we are in. So that's how we add and remove the server uh, service and firewall in CentOS 7. Okay. Uh, then there's a file to view the default zones. And we can ls. Okay, let me go back. Clear the screen and ls dash user lib slash firewall and zones Sorry. and here we have public dot xml home work dmz and these are the zones available in our firewall and to edit these uh, files basically we should not edit these files uh, here but what we can do is we can go to etc firewall and zones directory and over here we can add these zones and edit them okay basically uh, yeah the thing is in these directories like etc firewall and as zones the default zones exist so if there is no default zone, so the directories of in users lib firewall zones will uh, would be used. So that's why we don't edit them. Okay, let's try to edit this file, and I'll use vi editor. And over here, I just want to remove SSH. So what I can do is I can just uh, remove this line service name SSH or I can add more services if I want but I just don't want to uh, remove it or change it but let's say if we would like to add SMTP so I'll use service name is equals to SMTP that's it save so that's how you add services um, by editing the configuration file of the zones that's how we end our third part of uh, firewall and in next part we will see how to masquerade and port forward using firewall thank you for watching